What's going on everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder where we talk all things Marvel and MCU and Marvel Studios is making a little bit of a change, a really, really good change that fans are going to be very excited about. This news means that a lot of good things are about to happen very soon and are going to happen in the future. And that is, it looks like Marvel is indeed going to be embracing their rated R side. I know a lot of people were worried about this with Death. Deadpool coming to the MCU, they were worried that Marvel Studios and Disney in particular were going to kind of bump him down to a PG-13 film. Which would be unfortunate because that would kind of kill who Deadpool is, really. He's probably one of the very few characters that really needs to be unfiltered. But it looks like Marvel Studios has a plan, it looks like they're taking action right now actually with this plan and it all starts with the Marvel Netflix shows coming to Disney Plus this month. This is awesome news because this means we can get some new superhero groups and new characters in the MCU that can all be rated R. We can have a much darker, kind of grungier side of the MCU. And this will affect some new characters, but it will also affect some characters that we already have, some of the more clean cut characters. So in this video, I'll talk about the new groups that we could possibly get, and yes, we will be talking about the Midnight Suns, but also be talking about how characters and groups like these will affect the groups like the Avengers. Let's dive into it, but of course, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel news. So, like I said, this all started with the Marvel Netflix series' contracts being done. They are now not on Netflix anymore, and they are heading to Disney Plus this month. However, for those of you who have watched these series on Netflix like Daredevil and The Punisher, you know that they're kind of darker series. They can be dark and they can be kind of brutal and much more blood is shown in these series. So rather than not having these show on Disney Plus and perhaps maybe putting them on a streaming platform like Hulu, which of course they own as well, they are actually making some updates and some changes to their parental controls on Disney Plus. Now what they're doing is basically adding more parental controls, giving a little bit more customization to the parents so they can limit or filter out shows and movies that they don't want their kids watching. Now I know that this doesn't really affect us that much, we want to watch the Marvel shows, but this is good news because we were worried Disney Plus wasn't really going to show anything that was rated R, like Deadpool, like Logan. But this is the first step in Marvel Studios and Disney going towards a rated R future because Deadpool 3 is right around the corner, in fact Ryan Reynolds said that he promises an update soon. So the timing of all of this is kind of lining up. Then of course we have Moon Knight that is coming and it's supposed to be violent. I'm imagining that Moon Knight is probably going to be like Daredevil and like The Punisher, the Netflix series. Which again, the timing is kind of perfect here. The Netflix series are coming right before the release of Moon Knight, about 15 days before, and they're updating their parental settings. So I'm guessing Moon Knight is going to live up to the rumors and it is going to be kind of violent. And this is a certain side of the MCU, a more kind of adult side that they have kind of been lacking in. Of course, I love everything that's come out so far, but expanding and growing into different areas is always good. And we also have Blade coming. Now, the original Blade films were rated R. And side note, Ryan Reynolds was actually in Blade Trinity. So I think it would be hilarious that if in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we saw Blade and then we saw Ryan Reynolds and people thought he was Wade Wilson slash Deadpool and he's like, what? No, who's that? The potential for that movie is limitless. But anyways, back to Blade. The new Blade coming in could be rated R as well. In fact, I think a lot of people want that. The original one was rated R because, well, it did have some cursing in it, but it was also very violent as well. But let's think about this for a second. It really does seem like Marvel Studios is about to open up an entirely different side of the MCU here. The perfect example is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Originally, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was going to be directed by Scott Derrickson. He directed the first Doctor Strange film, which was great, and this one was supposed to be a horror film. Now, from what it sounds like, from what we've heard, and this is not officially confirmed because the studio hasn't really said anything about this, but from what we heard, Scott Derrickson wanted to really go full out with a horror film, and Kevin Feige and Marvel kind of told him to tone it back just a little bit. There were some differences and that's why he left the project. But then Marvel Studios hired Sam Raimi. Of course, we know him from directing the original Spider-Man films, but he's also a horror movie director as well. And according to Marvel Studios, this film still is going to have several horror aspects to it. 
And this is really the start, along with what WandaVision did, of introducing a more mystical, magical side of the MCU. And with that, sometimes it can get pretty dark. You can have dark magic, you could have possessions, and we already do have the Darkhold book, which was made by an ancient evil elder god, Cthum. And with all of these rumored cameos that are supposed to happen in Multiverse of Madness, I'm thinking that this is going to be the start of a supernatural side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Also, like I said, we have Moon Knight coming, we have Blade coming, rumors of Ghost Rider, and let's not forget the Marvel Netflix series might actually be kind of canon to the MCU now, which means the Punisher could be coming as well. John Bernthal has expressed interest in coming back as the Punisher, and he may be just a really good actor, and he could be lying, and they could have already told him, yeah, you are coming back in one project, or a few projects, or maybe a project of his own. But rumor has had it for a while that the Midnight Suns are indeed going to be coming in the MCU. And with everybody I just mentioned, that would be a pretty killer Midnight Suns team. And hopefully by the end of Multiverse of Madness, one, Doctor Strange is alive, and two, Scarlet Witch becomes good again. Because that Midnight Suns team could be Doctor Strange, the Scarlet Witch, the Punisher, Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, and Blade. That would be a pretty awesome team. And I think Deadpool would make a great addition to that team as well, I'm just not so sure he would join the team. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I think it would be really, really cool to see a team like this, the Midnight Suns, interact with a team like the Avengers. Because you have to imagine that somebody like the Punisher and somebody like Deadpool going around killing people, that's not a good look for superheroes. And that look could affect the Avengers because they'll probably associate with each other. And there's a lot that I'd actually like to see from this. One, I would love to see the banter between Deadpool and some really good heroes. Like, clean-cut heroes. Like, can you imagine Deadpool having a conversation with Captain America? Either Captain America, Steve Rogers, or Sam Wilson. Or imagine Deadpool talking to somebody like Captain Marvel. There are so many jokes that they could pull off there. Especially since Deadpool can break the fourth wall. I'd actually really love to see Loki and Deadpool have a conversation. I think that would be a pretty witty conversation. But I can even see the new Avengers team stepping in at some point in time to stop a team like the Midnight Suns from going and doing something and the two teams fighting each other. Kind of like a civil war. And not to mention it does still look like a team like the Thunderbolts or the Dark Avengers is being assembled in the MCU as well. They're not going to be so good. This will definitely add to the darker side of the MCU, although I don't think that a team like the Thunderbolts Bolts or the Dark Avengers will be rated R. But there is so much potential to Marvel Studios and Disney opening up this more R-rated side of the MCU. Potential for it to get a lot grittier, a lot funnier, and just bigger and more diverse in general. But let me know what you think. I know many people who watch my channel have watched the Netflix series and really like them. Is an R-rated side of the MCU something that you would like to see or not? Let me know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel news. For live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.